having the management of our response and the direction of our emotion to not be so, because, you know, sometimes if someone calls us out on our emotion, it goes back to that death of the ego thing. Mm -hmm. I am my emotion. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if you call me on my emotion and you want me to change it, then you are asking my ego to take a hit, a death hit at that. So we defend it to the very end, but we are not our emotion. Mm -hmm. We are not our ego. And only by taking our emotions as input can we learn about ourselves. Right. And that would be a big, big one to recognize, right? Big number four. Mm -hmm. Our emotions are input. They inform us. They are not there to own us. They are not there to control us. They are there to give us sensory input. They are there to give us pure information about the situation we're in. And when we can see it as that, then we can pull back and ask the question, what is this showing me? If that emotion is triggering something in your stomach and you're getting like that gut clinch mm -hmm. and then the overall information is like something about this doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. Okay. What situation are you in where your gut is clenching and the emotion around it is like the data is this doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. Start exploring that and asking why. Don't immediately go, you did something to me that made this, made me not feel right. Well, maybe that is the case, but maybe it isn't. It could be that there's something that you did that's tied to my past mm -hmm. that brought that feeling from the past forward. Yeah. And now instead of just laying all that on your lap, mm -hmm. it's an opportunity for me to say, oh, I have this past feeling that this emotion has now sparked that I have an opportunity to finish feeling through and get rid of so that I don't place that on somebody else in the future. Yeah. Right. So when we can look at that and manage it more like information instead of, Oh, it's your fault and start outwardly casting like, daggers mm -hmm. at anyone who has created what we would perceive as a negative input or a negative emotion, then we can direct it a little bit easier. Yeah. That's, that's so key. Um, it's easy to kind of fall in that trap of like we talked about last episode where we were kind of discussing how the external can, can define the internal. Mm -hmm. And with that as a process in which we engage in the world, we in many ways allow people to adjust how we feel internally. And so part of our opportunity in this with strength and grace is to say, hey, we can, we have the opportunity to learn how to not let someone else adjust how we feel within. Yeah. And, and now there's a, there's a fine line here. And that's something that I definitely want to kind of chat with you about in this, because we're not saying, you know, don't have emotions. No. That's not, not what this bit. is. And They're imperative. They are so imperative. Um, but by, by managing and navigating your own emotional structure and the way that you interact, then you have a better chance of not reacting to something. So because it's, it's easy to say, oh, well, you made me feel this way. Yeah. It's like, well, no one can actually make you feel anything. Only you can have the feeling, right? Yeah. And so, and that's where, again, it gets a little bit dicey. Well, if, if I, you know, well, then the only way to, you know, my, my first thought was, okay, well, the only way to, to, to not let someone else, it would be to not have any feelings, right? And, and that, but that's not necessarily the case. It's just, it's how, it's, it's not that I'm not feeling something, it's just how I feel it. Yes. The process in which I am feeling. And so, and to your point of the I am, like I, I am mad versus I feel mad. You know, it's, it's not tying to the identity. It's allowing the process of the feeling to flow through. 
and then saying, okay, because I feel that, that doesn't mean it needs to take over all of my actions. Like I don't have to embody, just because I'm feeling mad or frustrated doesn't mean I have to embody anger or frustration. Yes. That's a huge jump. So no one else can do that for me. Only I can make that choice. And so that's, that's where this fine line, I feel like, really, really fits. 